Hi everyone, I have a watercolour rose demonstration for you today. I painted this rose last year and I've finally taken the time to make a tutorial for you. I paint a lot of flowers. The flowers I enjoy painting the most are roses. In fact, last year I planted a rose garden here so that I would have roses of my own to paint from rather than having to go to the florist and buy some all the time. Now I've just got to get a green thumb and learn how to look after them. I'll show you a few different things in this video. The full length version of this tutorial is available on Patreon now. Patrons have access to the line drawing, the reference photo and my finished painting, which helps them when they're painting their own. The link to find out more is below and some of the brushes and paints that I used. I'm painting on Arsha's hot press paper here. I'm just using my mop brush to wet this petal down the bottom with some water. This is the water on the paper. You can see that it's not sopping wet, it's just got a nice sheen on the surface. And now I'm using some watery quinacridone pink. I'm just painting it onto the damp paper and I'm just making sure that the colour is nice and light, it's not too dark at this stage. So I'll just leave this one to dry and then I'll start on the next petal. So I just do the same thing, I just paint a nice layer of water over the top and then the quinacridone pink. I'm going to paint this one here now, so I'll just wet the whole petal again with my mop brush. And then I pop the quinacridone pink on. This one's got a beautiful cast shadow on it. So I want it to be quite dark down here where the shadow is, but as it moves out it gets quite a bit lighter, so I'll have less and less paint on my brush. So I'll just take a bit of paint off now. And then I can just pretty much just use the paint that's on the paper just to fill in the highlighted area. Just push it over into that just so that it's not completely white. So I've washed the whole rose in now with the quinacridone pink and now I've just wet this one because I'm going to start adding some darker colours over the top of it. So now I've got the quinacridone pink. Now it's got a fair amount of pigment mixed into the watery mix. I'm just painting it onto the damp paper. So there's more pigment in this than when I did the initial wash. So just pulling it down over the damp paper getting a nice edge with my brush. I like to try to make sure the edge is nice and tidy before I move into the rest of the petal. So because the paper is damp I can take my time with this, I don't have to rush. This petal has a cast shadow on it and those two lighter areas are where the sun is hitting the petal. So I've just left those with the first wash over the top. I haven't put any of the darker paint on them at this stage. So I'm just painting around those lighter areas, just using my brush right up on its tip, just so that I can use that nice point that it's got. This brush holds a lot of paint and a lot of water, so I don't have to keep reloading all the time. So now I've got some Opera Rose that I'm just dropping onto the damp paper. Opera Rose is a fugitive colour which just means that it's not light fast. So some people don't like to use this colour. So now I've got some Quinacridone Fuchsia on my palette. 
and I'm going to use that in the darker area. So here I'm just putting some water onto the highlighted section. You can see on the reference photo that that little highlighted section is darker on this outer edge. So I just want to put some colour along there and then just sort of flick it into the highlighted area. So this is the quinacridone pink. I'm just pushing it into that damp highlighted area there. So now what I want to do is just paint that darker edge along here with the quinacridone fuchsia. So I'm just putting a bit of water on my paper just to dampen it slightly. And then I just use the quinacridone fuchsia this time. So this edge here is darker than the rest of the petal and it's also got more of a red tinge to it. Now I think what I also want to do is put some of the cadmium red onto the base of the petal here. So I'm just putting some more water now and I'm just going to use a watery mix of the cadmium red. So just picking up some of the watery cadmium red, just putting a little bit on the side here just to give it a bit more of a reddish tinge and then I'll put some down near the centre of the flower. And the water on the paper just keeps the edges soft. Pull some of it out. It's following the shape of the petal. Just on the damp paper. So here I've moved in a bit closer for you so you can see how much water on the paper I've got and how much paint I'm using. So my paper is slightly damp here and I'm just using watery quinacridone pink and I'm just pulling it out towards the edge but as I get closer to the edge I've got less and less paint on my brush because I want it to be lighter on the outer edge of the petal. One thing you can do if you want lighter edges on your petals, you can just take a tissue and just dab off some of the colour that you've put there and that just lightens the outer edge. Just wrap the tissue around your finger. So now I've got some of the Opera Rose that I'm just washing onto the damp quinacridone pink paint just to brighten it up. So my petal's still damp here, I'm still working on the damp paper, it hasn't dried at all. Sometimes you might find that your paper starts to dry on you. So what you need to do is just dry it off completely and then re-dampen it with some water if you want to be working wet on wet. Now I'm just going to soften that edge there with a damp brush. Still working wet on wet, I'm just dropping in some cadmium red down on the darkest area of the petal. Okay, so I'm just putting some water on this petal down here. Just want to put the water all over it. I'll move in a bit closer so you can see. So you can see I've got the water all over that petal. So now I want to put some quinacridone pink on the darkest area, which is over here. So I've got quite a lot of pigment on my brush, so I've picked up the pigment up near where I've squirted it out on the palette and then as I move across the petal it gets lighter so I'll just take 
the paint out of my brush and I'll just have less paint on my brush. So here you can see how dark it is. As I move across the petal, I've got less and less paint. So I'm using the watery paint now. So I've just taken it further across, but it's very light in colour. So now I just want to remove a couple of highlights out of this darker area. So I just do that with my damp brush. I just take the paint off and then I take the excess off either on the tissue or I can put it in my water and wash it out and then dry it again. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of that quinacridone pink along the edge there. And then I'm going to work on this little one here. So just a touch of water on this, there's not much to do to it. It's just darker on this bottom edge again. It's a little bit of water there and then I get the quinacridone pink from the top of the palette. And that water on the paper keeps that edge soft. You just use a damp brush just to smooth it out some more. So over here I'm painting on a petal that has another cast shadow on it. I'm painting on damp paper here with the quinacridone pink. So I've just got a touch of the quinacridone pink on my brush and I'm just painting it over the highlighted area that's damp. So now everything's dry, I dried it with the hairdryer and now what I'm going to do is paint the shadow on. So I've just wet that section of the shadow and now I've wiped my damp brush over the quinacridone pink at the top of the palette to get that really dark rich pigment. I'm just painting the darkest area of the shadow with this and as I move out, my paint will become more watery, so it'll be lighter in value. Sometimes there's enough paint on my paper that I can just use a damp brush with no paint in it at all. And I can pull that colour out into the lighter area. So here I've just got some watery quinacridone pink. So I've mixed some water into the darker paint just so that it's not as dark as what it is down in the depths of the shadow. So before that dries, I'm going to drop some watery thallo blue onto the shadow. Sometimes I might drop it on a bit too heavily, so I just take my damp brush and I just move it out a bit, spread it around so it's not so concentrated in one area. So this just gives it a little blue tinge. Now I've got some of that dark quinacridone fuchsia. Still my paper's damp. So now I've just blended that with the other colours just with my damp brush. So now it's really dark down in the darkest part of the shadow. So now I'm wetting the rest of the shadow just with some water and I come in with the quinacridone pink again. It's not as dark now. And I do the same thing with the thallo blue. And the 
little bit more over here as well. And now I'm painting this little tiny turned back section in here with the quinacridone pink. Moving on up to this petal now, I just want to dampen it with water. And now I've got the quinacridone pink again. Just running it along the edge there, letting it bleed onto the petal. And then I put some longer strokes over the lighter area, just following the shape of the petal as I paint. So the colour is very pale, I haven't got a lot of pigment mixed into it. I've got a bit more of the quinacridone pink now, but it's darker. Just running it along the edge. Okay, so I'm moving up to this one now and I'm dampening it with some water just like I did all the others. And now I have some opera rose that I'm just running along the edge there. A little bit more paint now. Just keeping an eye on the reference photo as I paint. I want to try and keep this top edge lighter in colour. And then I'm going to come in quite dark down here. So this is the quinacridone pink. Just painting it onto the damp opera rose. Just come out a little bit further now. And now I've got some cadmium red on my brush. Just deepening that colour. So back into the opera rose now, I'm just patting it out further just to get a slightly darker colour there. So I've just about finished the rose now and I'm just running some thalo blue along the edge of this one. I've dampened the paper with water and the thalo blue is just bleeding up onto the surface of the petal. So here I'm painting on dry paper. I've got a cast shadow on this petal that I have to paint in. So I'm just using some watery quinacridone pink. So as I said at the start of the video, the entire rose painting with step-by-step -step instructions, including the leaves, is available on Patreon. And the link is in the description. And there's my finished painting. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that little bell to get notified each time I post a new video. I'll see you next week with a new tutorial.